only safety concern that's uh, not, not uh, raised uh, is a missed opportunity. For every serious accident we have, there's a lot of near misses and close calls that have happened prior. So if they're not raised up and acted on diligently, it's really a missed opportunity. And if they are dealt with diligently, our minds will go a long way towards reducing the serious accidents. The coal mine workers got a safety concern. They should immediately report it to their supervisor. If you're working in an open cut coal mine, you should report it to your open cut examiner. When an underground mine, it should be reported immediately to your deputy. If a coal mine worker doesn't believe this and has been satisfactorily addressed, uh, they should then take it to their departmental superintendent, manager, and even up to the SSC. Uh, most SSCs are happy to talk to the coal mine workers and hear those concerns. Uh, there's one other aspect most mining uh, mines have in place, is a hazard reporting system, so coal mine workers are encouraged to utilise those systems, uh, make a record of uh, what they've reported. Uh, if they're still not satisfied, uh, they've got then an opportunity to take it to their mine safety and health, uh, site safety and health representative. In some cases, mines don't have a SSHR, but they'll have crew or safety, uh, departmental safety reps. They should take it to those safety reps. Site safety and health representatives, they've got an obligation under the legis legislation to investigate uh, these concerns or complaints made by coal mine workers. So, uh, yeah, take it to them. If the coal mine worker is still not satisfied, uh, they can take it to the industry safety and health representatives. Uh, they have an obligation to investigate these concerns or complaints. Uh, really encourage them to do that. And I guess then finally, if they still haven't got, received any satisfaction, uh, they can take it to a, the Inspector of Mines, who also have an obligation under our legislation to investigate these concerns, and they've got to do that in a confidential manner. It also needs to uh, certainly apply to all contractors, subcontractors and labour hire workforces. Very important it applies there too. Unfortunately we do see that in the industry, uh, people do face resistance, uh, my thoughts are that there's no place in the industry for people to put up that resistance, they, as I said before they need to be encouraged to raise these concerns. Our industry and our communities can't afford to have this resistance there and fear put into people of reporting safety concerns, there's no place in the industry for it.